All right, all right, all right. Mm. YouTube. What's up, YouTube? There it is. Missed that yesterday. Do we? Yeah. Well, all right, we're back. Somebody's still saying it for you in the comments, though. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, so there's a number one most important thing of the day today. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. should... Comment, bring it over. Reef the sea forever. You've been mm -hmm. asking for like three days straight. All right. I'm holding out for an Ecotech sale. It's Black Friday. There's no Ecotech sale. There Sorry. You go. There you go. Uh, you know what? There is, though. Uh, we decided to extend all the freebies. Oh, yeah. So, so all those free codes that you saw all day yesterday, they're still good. I don't know. Yeah, you know, so Ecotech can't keep up with uh, all the stuff they're building already. So uh, we get like a little shipment every week and they're gone. Yeah. And yeah. so they were going to do Black Friday this year, uh, but you guys are buying too much of their stuff. <laughs> uh, so shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, no Ecotech sale unless you like a bottle of uh, Brightwell Aminos or a quarter gallon of uh, ROX Carbon or any of that stuff. If you want to get a little freebie. Yeah, freebies. So freebies we extended actually all the way to the end of uh, uh, Cyber Monday. In case you're wondering, nothing else new is going to happen. So there you go. Yeah, what's uh, what's deal is a deal. Right on out. Yeah. All right. So today. Oh, oh yeah, but there's some some news to pay attention to tomorrow maybe. Oh oh yeah. Well yeah, there's something you don't have to worry about though. Nothing yeah. else is going on sale anymore. But tomorrow nah, night true. you might want to check out what's going on because we're going to do some kind of fun. But uh, uh, you won't miss out on anything, uh, especially sale wise. In fact, in fact, if you place an order now it would actually put you in for that one so you'll never know uh, tomorrow you'll find out find out uh, tomorrow. all right so uh salt mix today water right? changes in salt mix this is one that's mm -hmm. like well what can they say about the history of salt and I water know. changes okay salt is actually this one's not gonna be as long uh, i think yeah. as three we went three hours yesterday so let's, let's go to like one <laughs> there's hour there's a lot today. to talk about light uh all right so uh yeah if you want to know anything about light man we just like uh, barfed it all over you uh, it's <laughs> three hours of light man coming at you uh salt mix uh today uh get ready for the drama roller coaster <laughs> man we're gonna ride it uh because mm. everybody seems to really uh, like like to pick a fight on this one is oh, anybody yeah. excited mm. i like more so than and picking a fight about your lights, which there's picking fights about lights, but salt, uh, okay. talk about some defense. Right now, share your favorite salt mix. Uh, you know what? Maybe share what it was uh, in 2004. Uh, maybe share what it is today. I don't mm. know. Uh, all right. So I just broke this up into like three categories this time. Yeah. Uh, I, I broke it up into 2004, and then uh, what we know today in 2020. And then what we'd like to see for 2025. That's pretty easy. Yeah, so we broke it up, uh, shorted it up a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's it's a salt mix. It's still, yeah, I mean. But it's been the most debated thing of all time with no real satisfactory answer until kind of recently. Well, there's two things you need for a saltwater aquarium. Salt? Water and salt. Mm hmm yeah. Yep, if you so. got salt water for saltwater aquarium. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, but, like, uh, you're going to see, man, people are just debating, debating, debating. Everybody's got a favorite. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty certain that, like, we could have one of, like, a Royal Rumble knife fight in the street oh, over which sure. is the best salt. You know, it's a pretty hot, hotly debated topic. It was all cheap when I got in. All right, so 2004, when I got in. Yes. Right? Everything that you see talking about... The best salt mix, 100% anecdotal. Oh, uh, I've had, I use this salt. I've had, look at my take. I use yeah. this salt. Look at my take. Yeah, all of them then. I uh, used that salt and it didn't work. Yeah, it kind of led me to believe like all the salts are the same. It's not true. Yeah. Uh, but like, uh, you know, just, I used this salt and the fish didn't jump out. Not really, not good enough. No, but uh, I mean, I'd hope it wouldn't be that toxic. But there wasn't really yeah. any salt out but there. But there also that. wasn't one that was like gold mine either. Yeah, came with uh, free diamonds in it or something. <laughs> so. All right, and then even better, uh, uh, you see this in a, a lot of stuff in reef, uh -huh. the reefing because we don't have definitive answers for a lot of stuff. Uh, nobody is able to prove a, a lot of things, so plausible theory wins every conversation. Yeah, so that's plausible. Five people say yes. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's Must possible. be true. It's gotta uh, be. And then defend it. Mm, yeah, and then defend it to the end. <laughs> However, <clears throat> unlike a lot of conversations that can be pretty civil, this one is hyper aggressive, man. Oh, I yeah. don't know why. Especially back then, 2004. People are not really nice about this they one. They just love their salt, and you can't tell them any other reason otherwise. 
I don't, you know, maybe you guys could share what you think is the reason that there's so much brand affinity uh, for the salt mix. I, I mean, it's like as ca- soon as sodium chloride. I start, as soon as we started this conversation, I'm just looking at the, uh, at the comments, mm-hmm. and, and here it is in the comments, too. It's mm-hmm. salt brand, salt brand, salt brand. Love this one, love this one. This one never hurt me. This one's never failed me. This one. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's happening right now in front of us as we talk about it. So let's just take off like uh like out the like i used it and it didn't kill everything it, i used it and it seemed to work for me take those two sentences off the table yeah tell the universe why you like the salt that yeah. you're using I, uh, yeah i like it i don't know it's like literally like didn't kill anything uh and that isn't even true sometimes <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Instant Ocean is king, man, 2004, dude. They are the most oh, yeah. dominant salt oh, for known sure. to man. Uh, and I don't really remember when Reef Crystals came in yeah, to play, uh, but it was around there somewhere. Yeah, and it was pitched, you know, maybe not 2004, but it was pitched to me when I got in because it was still king when I got in, too, that uh, you know, Reef Crystals is for corals and Instant Ocean is for uh, fish. Mm. And that's the way I, that I, it was pitched to me. But... The only reason I chose it was because it was cheap. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, me too. The main reason. The the reason was is everybody says, seems to says it works. It and works. It's the cheapest. And it's cheap. I don't know why not. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know the reef crystals one though. Like I remember the first time like I mixed up my mixing bucket and it was just like all this caked off brown crap came out of it, mm. and I just didn't know that it wasn't that was like. That's, you know, that, that, that that's wasn't normal, normal, I guess. I don't yeah. know, but that was the one for me that where I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. there's something better out there. I don't know. Uh, but even then, I probably still kept using it because I didn't know any better. Yeah. Uh, all right. But at the time, you see Seachem's got salt. Mm-hmm. Kent's got salt. Uh, Tropic Marin's got salt. Oceanic. Do you remember oh, Oceanic? Oh, no, I remember the brand, yeah. I like It was funny because I was, I was going through them today, and I'm like, hmm, what happened to Oceanic? Is that still even a thing? Yeah, I don't know. It was big, man. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't even know. It quietly went away. Uh, Coral Life was a thing. Crystal Seas I was a heard thing. Of that one. We sold it here for a little while. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that story. Well, you know, I'll just tell you that story right now because yeah. I don't know if I fit it in here. Uh, we sold Crystal Seas. Uh, uh, it's like a, one that's produced in the United States. Mm. Uh, had a really good pitch to it. You probably saw a video at some point in time to it. Yeah. And then when we brought it in, man, it was just like not consistent. Like, we couldn't get a consistent, uh, like, alkalinity and stuff out of it, and the calcium was all over the place. Interesting. Uh, And we tested it every way known to man, and, like, they refused to believe that it was all over the place, and, like, ultimately, we just couldn't sell it, man. Mm. Like, I just, I, like, I, I, just too far all over the place for me. So it's, like, one of two reasons, either it was heavy stratification or just not mixed in the... So here's the thing, though. Typically, when you work work with a business like that, and, like, you're not getting what you want, everybody's not happy uh you get the finger right yeah these guys were actually real cool they just they just didn't believe in our testing on it and they're like hey man we're happy to take it all back and they did they took all of it back and refunded all of our money uh and i'm like well i'm sorry that didn't work out uh it's specifically because you guys seem to be stand-up guys yeah i don't know so there you go there's a story about that aquacraft uh also uh (laughs) uh, michael dupreti uh we actually are dupreti uh we he (laughs) He uh, uh, provided calcium for BRS calcium for a little while, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so he's interesting. Uh, you can see uh, Aquacraft at a lot of trade shows. Uh, okay, so the question of the time is, of all of those, is one better than the other? That is mm-hmm. constantly the debate. Okay, the answer is certainly. Even still um, today. They're not all produced at the same place. They're not all produced using the same materials. Mm-hmm. And they're not all adding the same amount of minerals and consistency yep. and uh, mixing time and all this stuff. Mm. Like, not, they're not all the same. But what one's better? Ah, it's hard to, mm, I don't know. Hard to say better. Yeah. Uh, you know, you could say, well, the cheapest one is the cheapest, but that's not always true. Sometimes it's just cheap due to math, uh, like quantity scale. Yeah. It's, no. Uh, all right. So in comes Stephen Pro. So Stephen Pro, I, I went looking for like the salt test and there's a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll, I'll pull out a couple of them that I thought were pretty uh-huh. interesting. That was talked about a lot when I was young, or <laughs> young, when uh, I was in 2004 when I started. So Stephen Pro uh, had a, let me see here, Dave, if you could give me 
the right to the right of that. That one. Right, okay, there you go. So that's Stephen Pro. He had a little, little my little salt study and uh, aquarium check, right? I should have told you the numbers for this thing earlier. <laughs> that one right there. Yep. Okay, so he does a little salt study. He's predominantly trying to, you know, tell you, mm. uh, create a way that you could copy this at home. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's like trying to do something that the whole industry could do or our hobbyists could do. And you can see here some like kind of interesting results. Like you're seeing a uh, Instanoshi's got twice in here. One of them's got a 3.7 uh, MQL uh, alkalinity. The other one's oh, got yeah. 1.3. Uh, and all these calciums, like there's only one that's over 400 or two actually. Yeah. Uh, Oceanic and uh, Seachem. I like, oh, well, pretty interesting results. And you know, you can see it in that little graph bar graph there too, I think. Yeah, so you can see, oh, the and the pH here. And you can see yeah. that CCAMs, uh, the only one is, that has a high pH. I think that's because they use borate in there as a part of the alkalinity. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, okay, so not really what I call like scientific or anything, but you know, we're starting to try. We're trying to try yeah. to figure out what's Somebody's going on. A bunch of different salts and comparing them directly to each other. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is kind of like, at the end of the day, he even says, well, I don't really know if I found out much from this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Uh, and all right, so raise your hand in the crowd if you've heard of Dr. Uh, uh, Ron's uh, toxicity of freshly mixed salt water. Mm. Have you heard this one? Nah, -uh. it wasn't. Okay. You're not allowed to say that one out loud without getting punched in the face. Toxicity uh, or, or this actual? No, this specific article. Ah. It is maybe the most hotly debated thing I've ever run into. I totally forgot about it, but like, I mean, the amount of conversations that engaged in this thing is kind of mind boggling. Mm. Uh, and so maybe you could find the, the top row for that one. Uh, I don't know, yeah, there you go. Toxicity of freshly mixed uh, artificial, artificial seawater, sea a, a bad beginning for a reef aquarium. Interesting. Okay, so next shot right here. So what he actually does is he ha is taking the larva from uh, sea urchins and then putting them in with uh, the, uh, in the various sea, sea salts and checking for survival. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah, so like, how does the larva from uh, these, uh, uh, you know, different, uh, uh, different like, sea salts, yeah. like, actually survive? Wow. Okay, so if you didn't know the uh, results of this story yet, yeah, I don't know, I'd say, like, this is probably one of the cooler things that somebody's done with salt, hmm. you know, like, because this is a delicate organism, yeah. right, you know, so, like, this isn't, like, a coral that's pretty robust, and, like, you'd have to, like, you know, I don't know, pour Drano in the tank to watch it die immediately, <laughs> it's not, nothing's going to happen that quick, uh, so, but something like this, you can actually see, you know, very delicate, and you can see something more subtle. And a lot of times, like what happens when you have toxins and stuff, it's not that it kills it today, it's that prolonged exposure that yeah. it, like happens over the course of a year plus, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But something like this, you can show it. Okay, so this is the thing I, I'm pretty certain about here, is if this test showed the, your favorite was the winner, it's legit. Oh, yeah. If it shows that your favorite is not the winner, then it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can point to this all the time and say, yours is just killing baby urchins. Yeah, okay. So baby urchins here. Let's see how many survived. He did 10, by the way, he did 10 replicates of this test for a handful of different salts. So he, you know, I think it was like a two-day survival. You can go read the whole article right. if you want. Yeah. But it was like two-day survival rates, uh, I think, of and 10 different samples for a bunch of different salts. And you kind of average them out and see what you get. Mm. All right, so let's see this one. Okay, so natural seawater, it looks like uh, you get an average of 37 of these things that survived. If you look at the bottom of that column, uh, you know, it's 54, 39, 21, 23, 42. Just, how many do they start with? Uh, I don't know how many starts with, but it shows you how many survived. Mm. Okay, instant ocean, Seven, four, two, three, eight, two, five, three, six, zero. Average, Average of four. four. Like 90% less. Wow. Uh, marine mix bio essay. Uh, uh, this one is uh, 40. Coral life, seven. Yeah. Bio C marine mix, 35. 
I forget which one. There's two marine mixes. One of them is Aquacraft, and the other one is oh, the other okay. company we talked about. Yeah. All right. So, okay. I don't know what. I don't know what you. Oh, there's another sheet here, actually. Let's let's see it real quick. And you can just kind of see the totals, actually. So the sum of it: natural seawater, 371 survived, instant ocean, 40, uh, marine mix, bio SA, 415, coral life, 74, bio S, whatever it is, 358, 259, and 51. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, all right, yeah. All right, so. Oh, wait, oh, he's got Instant Ocean and RODI water, Instant Ocean and well water. Okay, interesting. Yeah, all right, so here's the deal. What, did you, what do you think would come out of that? Like, if you, since you've never seen it, what do you think would be the discussion that would come from that? The ones that tested low are toxic salts. I mean, if you were totally unbiased, I guess that is kind of the conclusion. And one had a higher survivability okay. than natural seawater. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. That's so Okay, weird. so here's the, th here's the thing that came out of it. The most polarized, like, political event I've ever seen. Either this thing was really cool, yeah. and thank you, Dr. Ron, for doing something that was very difficult to do, or total trash, 100% garbage, don't listen to this at all, it's all garbage. Like, I don't even want to hear it mentioned again. Yeah. That far. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you what it really is, it's just a data point. Yeah. You know, uh, and so it's too bad that the community couldn't like catch it anywhere in there. It's just a data point in the conversation as you look for, you know, hunting for the best salts out there. Right. And so when the data points converge on something, that is when you start to build a level of confidence. Yeah. And part of the thing here is, well, well none of us are trying to breed uh, sea urchins in our tank. Well, that's true, and I guess that's part of the reason why, you know, or I should say very few of us are. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's part of the reason why, you know, that's the case, but, like, I, well, some of these salts killed stuff and some of them didn't. That, that's that has meaning. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, to me as well. Uh, it has me. I w it's part of the data matrix. And like even now, I think a, a lot of people are probably 100%. Total garbage. No, that's really cool. That Nowhere you, in the middle. People weren't, weren't even listening to So if I saw that, and I saw that my Instant Ocean had one of the lowest survivabilities, and I've been using Instant Ocean forever, and nothing's ever died on me, and I've got a whole group of people in the forums who are using the same exact thing as I have, and nobody's saying this is like killing stuff in my tank. I, the other side of the argument's not there to listen to, like, well, look at all of this evidence that says this not toxic. Look at all these survivability. I'm growing, up, I'm growing up look, awesome tank. Look at all the success that people are having with this. How mm -hmm. is that not in the conversation also? So, so here's part of the thing, is you gotta just accept that all the options out there are probably what I would describe, or at least the popular ones, mm -hmm. as good. Yeah. The, the conversation isn't, you know, it's good, better, or great. Right. You know? Like, I, if you're asking who makes the best, uh, if who makes the cheapest that doesn't kill stuff? There is a there best is. for that. Yeah, there's an option yeah. for, that, for sure. Mm. But that's not the question. The question is who makes the best? Which inherently and not is not killing the stuff which is part is of it. Which is inherently the reverse of that question. The, who makes the worst? When, when no, people are worst. asking, like, who makes the best? Mm. It's kind of like, oh, who has the worst? And there is no worst out there. I'm sure so there is. Actually, I, I fully wholeheartedly believe that there, is there a are worst. some bad salts out there that mm. actually... I mean, you've seen like uh, what I call cluster cases of like whole clubs that had uh, uh, little tanks that went south when they bought a pallet of this stuff together. Uh, so I'm not gonna say who they are, but like, uh, uh, there's worst worst exists. Yeah, and I also happen to know where some of them get chemicals from, and so like I don't know. Mm. Yeah, well anyway, mm. I, they're probably not. Yeah, well anyway, <laughs> uh, I hate to throw anybody on the bus that way. So uh, all right, so. The tests are on sea urchin embryos. Uh, they're significantly more toxic uh, developing uh, uh, to develop. Some of the salts are significantly more toxic developing sea urchin embryos. Mm -hmm. Community argues 100% worthless, 100% legit. No room to just be a single data point in a larger conversation. Uh, apparently it doesn't really matter. I think the net of this conversation was that the it doesn't matter one. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we're still talking about it, I think, is uh, evidence <laughs> of that. Uh, 16 years later. Yeah, that it, it certainly didn't seem to matter. Uh, so uh, apparently it doesn't matter if the sea salt kills uh, sea urchin embryos. Nobody cares. Uh, seeing this, it, uh, I, I got to tell you, now that we fast forward to today, seeing this, 
And if this was the only data point other than, uh, I don't know, I used it and it seemed okay. Mm -hmm. The fact that it kills sea urchin embryos or any organism in the tank, which one do you want? Okay, another mm. question is, uh, if I gave them to you for free and uh, they didn't have a sticker on the front and I showed you the data and said, this one kills sea urchin embryos and this one doesn't, which one do you want? Well, this one kills less than this one does. I want the one that doesn't kill sea urchin <laughs> embryos. <laughs> that work better. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's a, you know, it's funny because if you if you take away some of the bias and you take whatever, like I don't, know, I think I want that one. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I, so a lot of this is always just marketing, uh, label, and uh, I don't know, not really based on data. Uh, I mean, I've, if there's anything in the salt conversation, yeah, so much of the conversation is just based on anecdotal stuff and not on data, and a lot of it is not from people who have tried you know, 15 different salts for prolonged periods of times on different stages no. of the tank. You know, just from I, people, I like this one, it worked out good. people who use a, that brand of salt and have a, a bunch of people that they listen to who use the same brand of salt, and they, there you go, that's your answer. That's and like, to be honest, man, I'd like, I have no problem with that. Like, if you use something for 15 years, use it for probably five years, three years, and it works, works, man. Just stop there, having the discussion. There you go. Right? But, like, to charge Don't out repeat say, that as fact to somebody else. You can say the fact is I've used it and I've it worked out good, it. Yeah, you can but I can't it. tell you it's the best mix. I don't right. know. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that's true. All right. So uh, if I saw th <laughs> this topic, uh, I don't know. This topic, man, people, most people won't touch this topic with a 10-foot pole. The now. sea urchin thing? Yeah. No, no. Like now, like there's so much and there's a few of these debates that have happened over the years especially in that time period right well like you know 16 years ago um where some of the scientists tried to actually make it an attempt in here to do the community a favor man it's not like Dr. Run at stock has an in agenda Ocean, with know? yeah exactly. Uh, I don't think he's a, I, I don't know I don't think he had bias in this. I think he was actually trying to further the conversation uh, for the hobby. But what we did is kick him in the face so hard that nobody'd ever want to do it again. <laughs> and, I mean, it, it's well, absolutely it's true. true. It's true because uh, I've seen it again after these things. And like so, what we want to do is actually encourage people yeah. to, uh, especially the people that have resources like, like that. Test the salts yeah. for us. Give them feedback. Like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you repeated the test in this way with this other thing? Yeah. You know, I don't know. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, Is there a link to the article? Oh, I, I don't... Uh, you, if yeah. you search for... Oh, what did can, I call it? Yeah, go to... It's on reefkeeping.com and it's uh, issues 2003 to 03. You'll find it. It's do Dr. Ron. Oh, yeah, we toxicity of freshly mixed salt water. Somebody asked if there was a link to it, so there it is. Maybe, Just search uh, for toxicity Adam of freshly might mixed be, salt water. Adam might be able to uh, search that while we're sitting here and posting it in the comments. We'll find it for you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> so now here's the even more funny one. All right. <laughs> Raise your hand if you remember the S15 report. Nuh uh. Yeah, like, I bet you Than does, but I don't. Oh, Than's on the yeah. crowd deck. I bet you Than remembers S15. The S15. Yeah. Aquacraft S15. Aquacraft. This one, man, is actually, there's parts of this that, oh, like. Oh, you mean this one? Uh, that part of that, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this one's interesting to me because it takes a different, this is like the first kind of like ICP approach to this. I think they did some other types of tests too uh, with it and you hired a lab to right. go out and test everybody's salt. Okay. This one. Also, super hotly debated at mm. the time, and uh, again, no room again for it was either really interesting or just absolute trash. There was no middle in between. Okay. And the reason for this this time, and it was absolute trash, is uh, not because the data wasn't there. It was because the manufacturer provided the data or hired their own company to do it. Ah, okay. There's a catch-22 here, man, right? So, I mean, I don't know if this is true, man. I, don't, I won't make any claims about Aquacraft salt, uh, but, you know, Michael Dupree believes that his salt is the best on the market. He's mm -hmm. developed a different method of, uh, you know, making it, and he's just proud of, you know, his work. Yeah. And he also believes that everybody else's stuff is garbage mm -hmm. uh, and uh, wants to tell the world, you know? Yeah. And so and nobody's telling this story for him, you know. It's like nobody's out there testing this other stuff. So he's like, you know what? Screw it. 
I'm going to test my own, and I'm going to test everybody else, and I'm going to hire a lab to do it. Right? That's, yeah, fair. Okay, so I think you all got to look through it like a lens here of, well, he did do it for himself. So, like, maybe that's the result that will come out of it. Right. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't make it total crap. <laughs> it, it could be true. You know, I don't know. I, I, you know, it's really interesting. Mm. So, uh, the first thing he does in this S15 report, he makes like a hundred point like scale. Oh, the grading you know? scale. It's uh, how to judge a good marine salt. Mm -hmm. And, a, and it, a good marine salt should, and then he kind of goes through some uh, explanation of what We're it should do. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so this is, this is why I like this one. I just, <laughs> this one, because it speaks to me, because it, it's actually a similar approach that I take in okay. a lot of things. Right. Rather than just debating like what is best, mm. let's define what would make something best first. I, I like that approach. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what would make a good salt in this case? Mm. Uh, let's define that. And once we know that, we can go and review everything else. Okay. Right. Build because, a standard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like for me, every difficult conversation is best done that way. Yeah. Which is all right. So instead of just debating and opinions and all this stuff. Let's stop right now and decide together what good looks like. Yeah. And then let's go hunting for good. You know? Uh, let's go find it. That's a fair approach. So, okay. This, uh, I haven't actually read each one of these. I stopped because I wanted to experience it within real time with you guys. <laughs> uh, but he's got, uh, I don't know, a dozen different things here. And that he's in a great a score. Time. Yeah, and a score for each one. Okay. Yeah, so I think there's like a picture here. I don't know if you saw the score. I don't think I took a shot of the score. So you can see his S15 report here. So if you search for oh, this little guy right yeah, here, F S15. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's a blue one. Oh, the, the blue, blue right here. Yeah. So. So the blue is the is the end of the scoring. These are what these different salts got. So at the end of the scoring, you're going to see that deep ocean got 12, uh, mm -hmm. ultra marine. Some of these things don't exist anymore. Right. Coral life got 23. Reef kills was 26. Kent, 26, Instant Ocean, 26, Tropic Marin, 29. Okay. So it's low 20s, Yep. High, low okay. 30s to... Well, let's go all the way to the top. 100. Somebody scored 100. The writer of this article? Could it be? Uh, <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> Somebody scored 90. Uh, Who do you think that is? Same guy. Same, same yeah. salt, different Okay, name. so... Okay. Okay, so... That is a part that makes it a little sketchy for me. Right, right, right. Right, is uh, you scored a hundred out of a hundred on man, your own test. On your own test, and okay. you defined what it is. That doesn't mean it's crap. Right. There might uh, be there some bias. There might be some bias. <laughs> there might be some bias. A little bias. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a <little> bias. <laughs> Just a touch of bias. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's go through them, and yeah. you can you can decide if these points actually matter to you in the same manner. Okay. Okay. A good marine salt should number one. Yep. Be similar in competition or composition to the major ions found in natural seawater. Alternatively, contain slightly higher or enhanced amounts of calcium, sulfate, strontium. Uh, include a strong pH buffer or both. Uh, solutions that lack significant amounts of essential major elements produce dramatically unnatural conditions. It's unreasonable to believe that captive marine life can avoid stress uh, and adjust to unbalanced conditions. So okay. number one. Similar to major ions in natural seawater. Score, 20 of 100. Mm. That's, so one-fifth of this is just based on that the ions are somewhat similar to natural seawater. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. can, I can agree with I that. I can get behind that. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. Right. I don't know what the date of the report is. Somebody's asking what the date of the report is. Oh, I don't know the date of the report, like, but the last time the, the website was updated was 2015. Uh, it was, this it was is like this well is 2005, yeah. four or something yeah. like that. Okay. I don't know. It's, long, it's old. Uh, but it's like, this company's not. I'm telling you though, the people after people took this leaps, some of these leaps that we're going to show you, share with you, people stopped because the community hated it. They didn't want this information, uh, and uh, when they got it, they got mad. Mm. So uh, you still see it today. Like you see ICP reports, and unless it tells the story that you want to hear, it's garbage. Yeah, yeah. it's garbage, yeah. right? It's so, garbage. Uh, I don't know. It's because, it, like, yeah, there's lots of reasons. Okay. All right. So number two, contains su uh, su uh, sufficient bromide. Evidence suggests that there may be a, bi a beneficial synergistic relationship between bromide and iodide. So 
contains bromide similar to nitrate and natural seawater. You get you get yep. four points for that. Four points for having the proper amount of bromide, bromide. in the tank. Not too much, not too little. Okay. Contains significant uh, uh, sufficient strontium. Strontium has an interaction with calcium and is essential for the growth and development of corals. Contains strontium similar to natural seawater. Four points. Four points. Uh, contains significant uh, molybdate. I have no idea what that is. Molybdate. Molybdate. You think mm. that's molybdenum? It might be the form of molybdenum. similar? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, this is beneficial for reef fish in fish aquariums. So you get a plus three there. Uh, I'm gonna uh, low in phosphates, phosphate nat <coughs> uh, naturally occurring waste ions, obviously yeah, low yeah. in that for, uh, point four. Low in silicates, uh, yeah. case, yep. that can increase growth of diatoms and brown algae. Yep. Uh, low in three. Low in heavy metals. Excess metals can be devastating to uh, closed marine fish and reef aquariums. You get five. Plus five for that. Uh, yeah, well, that makes sense, yeah. right? Uh, eight, must be a dry formula. Wet or damp marine salts are usually unstable and mixed to a high pH. They can take a long time to dissolve or mix completely. Dry formula score plus seven. So I think dry formula, what he's getting at here is anhydrous. Most of the salts that we use are not anhydrous. Mm. Uh, so I think that uh, meaning like, that they won't act as like a d desiccant when there's like moisture in the air. Yeah. So okay. they don't, yeah, but they can actually suck moisture out of each other. Right. So like when you mix uh, the old forms of magnesium uh, sulfate and chloride together, it turned into like a slush mm -hmm. as the magnesium chloride pulled the moisture out of the sulfate. Right. Uh, now that we use like dried. Uh, uh, magnesium sulfate it doesn't happen that way anymore. Mm, okay. But yeah, so uh, anhydrous. Uh, the only one I can think of offhand that, that we stock uh, that's anhydrous is Brightwell, by the way. And you'll know because it gets kind of warm oh, when you mix it up. Yeah, and it's powder in. It's a different type of powder too when you when you feel it when you look mm, at it. Yeah. yeah. Plus seven. Uh, must be uniform particle size. A separation of ingredients during the manufacture, uh, packaging, transporting, and handling may result from non-uniform particle size marine salts. Plus it, 10. Stratification. Right, so you want to avoid stratification. You want to make sure mm -hmm. it's a, a, you know, uniform throughout and you're getting the right mix. If you're, getting, if you're not getting that, I would ten, take 10 away, so why not 10 add? I agree no. with that one so far. Yeah. Uh, has, uh, uh, have contents that match package claims. Many oh, marine salts uh, packages package. misinform hobbyists and dealers about the actual contents of the product. Ten. Ten. Agree. Whatever you put on the box, it, it should actually it do. Better be. Yeah. And, it, and a lot of times it does, but that's what I mean. That's the classic example of this that I see is buckets that claim 160 gallons, but. It's at 1.021 or 1.020 at a salinity that nobody really uses for the hobby. Misleading. So it, it is true to the claim, but when you really use it in you know application, it's less than that, 20 percent. Okay. Or if you list uh, if you list on there all the trace elements you include, but oh. it turns out that. Uh, like a bunch of them are actually just impurities and barely there at all. Yeah, nah, they're in there though. They're in nah, there. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of sketchy. All right, consistent formula. Mix to the proper uh, pH, high pH, uh, or no, that was 10. Yeah. Uh, so mixes to the proper pH. High pH when hydrated has no relationship to the pH holding abilities of the marine salts. High pH can stress captive uh, fish, sensitive reef invertebrate, um, and producing a condition of osmotic imbalance. Toxic ammonia increases with high pH. That's true. That's true. So it mixes to a proper pH. 10, Ten points. points. Uh, I can give that. Uh, contains uh, slightly higher or enhanced amounts of calcium and strontium. Enhanced calcium and strontium levels may benefit marine fish and invertebrate. Ten points. I probably wouldn't give it ten on this one. With it, oh, the proper amount of calcium. No, no and it's high, slightly higher. Like, I guess slightly higher. I don't know. That's so easy to do. Oh, I'm I have I a hard see. time giving there, uh, ten points for that. Ten points okay. if it's slightly higher. So here's the deal. Uh, I, if you ask me, do you make a, a salt mix or a essay of, of what makes up a good salt? Uh -huh. I don't know. That's not that far off. There's a, yeah. There's a couple other things. Like There's I don't want dirty stuff brown there. stuff in it and all that mm -hmm. kind of other mm -hmm. stuff. I'd prefer you don't use EDTA to bind up minerals. I'd prefer you don't put clay in there. Uh, yeah. Like Montmorillonite clay, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I would give extra points for graded material. 
I'd give extra points for uh, providing your own ICP and lab or batch mm -hmm. testing and that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a few that do that. Uh, I mean, that we're going 20 or 16 years in the future for this. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So, okay, so go back to his... Uh, the uh, blue box. His blue box here. The uh, grades. So you can find the grades. Yeah. Okay, so, again, he scores... Marine environment, 100, and bio C 99, or 90, 90. and then it kind of goes down from there. All right. So I'm going to tell you, I'd never give myself 100 in anything because it's just <laughs> suspicious. <man. laughs> Even if I thought I got 100, I'd give myself 99. Uh, uh, you know, that's true. So here's the thing. He, if I was going to create, I'll go through all this work to do this, I think I'd actually create the product that beats the test. Yeah. So not surprising that you would do good. Yeah. This one's interesting actually too because uh, the marine environment is actually a homogeneous salt uh, and it has the calcium alkalinity and like the you know five or so major elements, and then all the other elements in a little bottle, liquid. Oh yeah, you add them yeah. after the fact. Yeah, and because a liquid is cap is way easier to keep things homogeneous in. Right. You know, you can right, keep right. them suspended and dissolved in liquid, and it's very easy to get the right amount. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, like, if not the first, uh, one of the first people out there to create a salt mix that you know where you added other than the major elements, everything else in this little bottle. Yeah. And you added in. Ah, well, it's just a good approach. Uh, As we come to find, like ESV. Yeah, ESV took a similar approach yep. later. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. So I'm curious what you guys think uh, about it. But if you, <laughs> I mean, he was so harsh. So if you can see uh, uh, that tower type, uh, yeah, that one right there. I mean, he goes through there, and if you can read this closely, it's like the facts about Instant Ocean, the facts about uh, Tropic Marine, the, the facts. Oh, yeah, and course. if you go read it, it's like everybody sucks, you know? Uh, and so, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I get that you want to share why your stuff is the best. Yeah. And really the only way you can share that yours is the best is by comparing it to other people's stuff. Mm. But man, is that an aggressive move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did it here. Uh, when, like, I, 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 the, part of this the reason it speaks to me yeah. is because we got all this pharmaceutical grade material Oh, we here. did the same thing, type yeah. of test. But we also showed, there was some that we showed, well, one in particular, that we were not the best in magnesium. Well, what I what really wanted to show, though, was in the whole thing is like, I know yeah. the quality of the pharmaceutical grade materials, specifically Kalkwasser, and actually the magnesium milk, most yep. of them, other than Brightwell, did way better in every, all of them. Yep. Uh, and so, like, uh, in all of these things, I know how, like, good this is, but, like, that doesn't really convey unless you have something mm. to compare it against. So we spent 20 grand to do something similar to this guy did. Mm. Uh, and the difference though, I think that why the community didn't like, you know, berate us the way they berated this is what we did is not name the competitors. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. We, uh, because we did it's bulk mean, one, it's rude. Bulk two. Also, I feel like we spent the better part of a decade sharing information in the reefing hobby and earned people's trust. Mm. Uh, where this just came, came out of nowhere, it was so aggressive, yeah. uh, and like it doesn't have a face attached to it, so I don't know if you can trust it. I'll, I'll address this uh, this question. Is, is, mm. Does BRS even sell the highest performers? Just curious. Now, mm. No, first of all, this I, mean, I think he's talking about this report. Yep. This was back in 2005. We're talking about the, the past here, way back when, like almost 16, way over a decade ago or so, this is kind of when this came out. And these mm. uh, Aquacraft, doesn't make salt anymore, does it? Is no, I think they still do. I think they actually it? do really good in like Japan. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, if anybody here wanted to buy Aquacraft, uh, we would like probably the bring it environment, in. the bio sea. Yeah, but the reality is I don't think I've ever gotten a request for it. Uh, mm. And th it might have been because this thing was such a dumpster fire. So all back over the, the forums, year. people are talking about how, oh, back in the day. how bad the, the report this was. No, what they weren't saying it that way. They were saying you can't believe it because the manufacturer did it for himself. Ah, okay. Even though he hired an external. So company. there was that snake oil type yeah. of. Uh, it wasn't that anybody fire. actually said the methodology was wrong? It was that you can't believe what, when somebody talks about themselves. Ah, and that's not true. 
You can just look at it with a higher degree of uh, uh, doubt, I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Really think about you know, whether or not this person has done anything to earn your trust in the past. Mm. You know? Or you know, do, the, do the results kind of match up with what I would expect to have seen or anything else touch, you know, touches? Right, right, right. So like, I would tell you right now, I mean, again, this is 20, 15, 16 years ago. I don't know, maybe even 20. Uh, you know, my experience does not match up with Tropic Marin being a 29 here. No. Uh, I would say that my Red experience sea. with, you know, Red Sea is a different formulation, I think, back oh, okay. then. Okay, okay. Uh, but uh, my experience with Instant Ocean, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be totally surprised, you know, reading the, like, the, you know, the sea urchin thing, seeing all the brown stuff in my bins, like, and, like, not totally mm -hmm. surprised mm -hmm. uh, like but also uh, sketchy I don't know so th that's actually a pretty interesting thing here yeah where's my other notes here uh, Fan, Fan right. says he was the uh, the grandfather of clickbait for those like uh, this facts about reef crystals it, he was man it was very very clickbaity it was very aggressive and I, I, I honestly look back at it and I don't know what to do like what to say Imagine for a moment it was you. Mm -hmm. And like, let's just pretend this stuff is true for the moment. I don't know. Okay. Right? But like, just for the sake of argument. And you put in all of this effort to make what you believe is the best, does all those things that you just described uh, better than everybody else, and yet nobody knows it. Mm. What a frustrating world that must be. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then you find reasons to put yourself out well, there. Well, eventually, man, you just say, ahead. damn it, I gotta tell the world. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving the guy a lot of uh, benefit of the doubt here, but mm. uh, it's interesting. Uh, so, but this is, kind of shows you like, all right, you know, so we're seeing lab data. Nobody else is producing this. You know, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a suspect because it came from him, but nobody else is going through this level of effort. Right. Dr. Ron's going through the whole embryo thing. Nobody else is putting that kind of effort in it. And all we're doing is uh, crapping on everybody who even makes an attempt. Yeah, all well, that and yelling at each other about best salt, but yeah. not supporting people who actually want to test that what is or that theory. Yeah, I don't know. And then and next, uh, you would see Eric Bornman and some other people uh, produce another thing. And I, I saw them talking about it a lot, and they were going to release something and Magna on it. And I don't remember where that landed. And Eric Bornman at the time was like kind of center of the universe. Right. And so I don't know where that landed. And I searched for a good hour today trying to figure out what the net result of their you know experiments was because they they had a whole bunch of, of experiments with corals in them they mm -hmm. autoclaved these tanks they did a lot of effort i don't know what came out of it I, like somebody in the crowd must know than maybe knows uh, what came out of that i don't know, mm, I don't uh, know. Uh, if you find a link i want to watch it uh, yeah i want to read it because I, I was curious okay so yeah you can go out there you can find borman's uh, he tried a really ambition uh, ambitious one uh so there's really kind of only you know two paths you can take now. Right. It's uh, matches natural seawater. That's the that's the best path to like that's how you do a best salt. Right. Uh, but if somebody tests it and you don't like how the test was done, then it's garbage. <laughs> so it matches natural <laughs> seawater unless you tell me I'm wrong. Uh, uh. Or or. The best is uh, it doesn't matter because it hasn't killed anything in the tank yeah. yet. Or has it? Because uh, if it had a slow toxicity and was just an irritant for six months and right, there's caused no it to kick it over the edge six months, you would not connect no those dots. No way to ever, yeah, I was just going to say, no way to connect those Nobody two. would ever do that. Like, so it, you don't know. I use this salt every day. It's never happened. Yeah, I, I, I mean, those are kind of the two paths then because mm. nobody wants the data. Uh, nobody's helping the people for getting the data get like something that if you don't like what they get, then tell them what you would like. Yeah. It wasn't that, it was just uh, you're a terrible person. Mm. It was the only, only thing that really got out of it. How, how do you dare you insult my bucket of sodium <laughs> chloride? Uh, so the, the only ways, that, like we are saying here, the only ways that really people are choosing salt then at this time is, is, and this is exactly how I chose salt, like brand loyalty or the cheapest option. And the I, cheapest was definitely and the cheapest the option was the winner in a lot of times. 
Like I <laughs> would actively seek out the forty-five dollar box of Instant Ocean and pay. I could find a fifty-dollar box, and then I'd go tell everybody about it. Okay, go to go to so and so LFS. They're selling. They've got forty-five dollar boxes right now. I want to tell you that I. There aren't many instances where this statement is true. Mm. The dramatically cheaper option is the best available option. Hmm. There aren't many instances where that's true. It can be adequate option for sure. Right. Uh, On the good, better, best scale, it would be good. So it's, but I think it's just like, part of this debate is everybody has different needs and desires. And so I want it to be affordable and cheap. That means it's best. Well, we had the same conversation. We had the same conversation in two part in additives the other day when we were talking about you know, finding the cheapest alkalinity, the cheapest calcium chloride, the cheapest magnesium, throwing away the quality of the material and all this other stuff just to find the cheapest. And in that instance, we're talking cents rather than a bucket of salt, maybe dollars mm -hmm. savings. All right. Then there's also, before we cut out of 2004, a lot of people, or no, I shouldn't say a lot, I don't know, people are definitely using uh, natural seawater. Oh, like actual jugs. Yeah. They're going to the, the, mm -hmm. the ocean and pulling jugs of water out yeah. and bringing it home. Weren't people selling them jugs, like five gallon jugs worth too and shipping them? I don't know. It's like sometimes if you live near like a public aquarium, they'll give it to you too. I, I don't know. I've heard of that. Huh. Uh, but like, I, I got to tell you, I would, be, I would be tempted to do this myself. I probably would get really sick of going out to the ocean and collecting the water, especially well, we get trying that. to find a location that isn't filled with suntan oil and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we get that question a lot, even still now. The customer service answers the questions. We get it on social media. Like, can I use natural sweet water? Yeah, you can. But mm -hmm. just be cognizant of like where you go get it. If you're in a if you're in yeah. a port and you know you see all the streets draining into that uh, area right there, you see ships coming back and forth. Like there's some pollution in there. Uh, for sure, yeah, okay. heavily concentrated. Yeah. You put it in your tank. Yeah, there's anyway. also parasites and all kinds of other stuff. And there's some people. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, people yeah. use it. All right. So let's fast forward to 2020 today. today. Uh, that conversation, I don't think, up until recently, had really changed. No, I, when like, I it was kind of the same. When I the came whole time. in in like 2012, 2013, same conversation. I, do, I it was before my time. Some of those uh, those debates on the on these uh, articles and tests and things, but the same concept around choosing a salt still exists. I, I, like some of the names about, have changed. Thought about over yeah. and over and over and over and over. Uh, but like some of them are still there. I mean, it's, it's interesting. You can see the oldest, longest lasting ones in there. You know, HW is like in there, yeah. and uh, you know, from 2002, you know, German salt. Mm -hmm. So, but the conversation has largely not changed. Nobody has done a, like a hey, these are the ten things that really matter about a salt. Uh, I mean, not. If it's just cheapest and keep stuff alive, man, that, that game that wouldn't sale. We can stop that debate right, right now. Right, right, If you're looking for the best, these are the things that would uh, do that. Let's all kind of generally agree on what that is, and then let's go find the answer. Yeah. Right? Mm. Uh, all right. Well, all right. So uh, 2020. I, I can't say this about all of them, but a vast majority of the popular ones uh, out there, they all support life. That's true. All of them until they don't. Mm. Right? I like the whole bad batch thing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. and so this is my theory. Uh, I've never actually been part of a bad batch salt. And so, like, if it's just a single person, I think it's generally probably something else that that person yeah. did, or, or there's tanks stressed out. But if a coral cases. club yeah. you know, or a reef club gets a, a pallet of a salt, and 50% of them have issues uh, all at the same time. And start linking it to salt. Starting to look uh, likely. Yeah. yeah. Or it's at least worth looking into. Right. right? Uh, and this is probably where it comes from. And this is just a, like an educated guess from the behind the scenes. Is the biggest source of impurities is generally magnesium uh, mm. and sodium chloride. Oh, where they're mining it from, the veins that they're mining it from, the impurities mm. around that vein. So especially if you want to get the cheapest <clears throat> stuff uh, out there, then what hap hap has you can't get the high top graded material. Right. What you end up doing is going to the sodium chloride uh, you know, mines and then saying, hey, uh, I need this kind of uh, essay out of it. I need this kind of, uh, you know, 
uh, lack of minerals or whatever, and they'll say, ah, oh, well, you know, currently mine number 42 is producing kind of like what you're looking for. Yeah. Let's pull yours from 48, 42. But there's pockets of impurities in there, mm. and it probably showed up at that reef club. Could have. Very well uh, could have. Especially well, if you're talking like a whole pallet full, so you're getting a bulk of the same mining spot in one shot. Yeah. Uh, if a cluster of people got it and it hasn't happened naturally, mm. uh, it's, that's my best take on it. Uh, and especially if you're looking at it and the calcium alkalinity, all that kind of stuff seems okay. Uh, if, if I got 40 of us got it and 20 of our tanks uh, took a dump when they put it in there, and I'm talking about water change, meaning that only 20, I did a 20% water change, 20% of it, my tank reacted poorly. That's toxic. That's man. Imagine toxic. if I did a hundred percent. Oh, instant uh, crash almost. Yeah. So I don't know. So uh, supports life until they don't. It, it, when you don't have a lot of checks, and, you know, it, like a lot of these places are kind of reliant on independent or not independent periodic testing mm -hmm. because it isn't been graded and uh, has uh, all of the material that way. Uh, it's just kind of like. Let's get the best word from the mine, and then let's check, you know, every now and then to make sure that they're delivering on that. But it's certainly not all of it. Yeah, I don't know. That is my best guess as to why that would be. Okay, ICP has some value, uh, and some people are now doing it themselves. So, like uh, the uh, what's that? A Red Sea, I think, has like a my batch thing. Yeah, they do. Yep. And uh, so, um, uh, Aqua, Aqua Forest, Forest has does. one. Yeah. Yeah. So you know they're saying they do their own ICP r report on it and you can you know put in your lot number and it'll give you the ICP report yeah. on it. Uh, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of what it means, but it means that somebody is actually testing something and they're willing to share it. Yeah. You know? So there you go. Uh, <laughs> but nobody seems willing to do what Aquacraft did with ICP or they probably did other tests too. Uh, they're not going to test everybody test theirs else. Or... Against, ours against theirs, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is probably wise. Because that did not go well. For them. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. Uh, people are now doing uh, visual assessments in 2020. Uh, here's the deal, man. Uh, I don't need to taste a mud sandwich to know that it's not for me if I see mud all over it. That's true. I and don't have to. I don't. You I don't usually like... use this analogy of not using mud, but yes. Yeah, if you give me, yeah, no, I had it written the other way. Uh, but yeah, if you give me a mud sandwich, uh, I don't need to actually eat it to know this isn't for me. So when I mix it up I can and see it's it. full of brown crud, That's not and me. especially as I like go through multiple batches and it just gets caked and caked and caked, I can just say this isn't for me. Yeah, I, I don't need to know what's in it. I don't need to do the lab analysis to know that I don't want that. Yeah. Even if it's just maintenance. Yeah, you know? well, there's a couple of easy ways to identify that. Okay. If you can't see it visually in your mixing bin. So I'm going to give you 2020 what I personally believe to be true. Ooh. Right? Uh, and this is the best you're going to get because this is just a belief structure. Nobody has identified the best salt out there or yeah. we would not be having this conversation. So as somebody who has tested all the salts, uh, we've sent them in for ICP, we've done all kinds of tests, so like I've, we've got like a dozen different ones, we've yes. used all of them. I've talked to most of the manufacturers. I know the sourcing stuff a little bit behind the scenes. This is what I personally believe. Take it for what it's worth, because I could be wrong. There you all go. Right. All right, the brown gunk in the bins is undesirable. I believe that to be true. Mm. It is undesirable. Doesn't mean it's toxic or going to kill anything, but it is undesirable. Uh, definitely for maintenance, it's undesirable. Right. Uh, it's almost certainly got impurities in there. Toxic? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not immediately as mm -hmm. I use it on my tank, but we don't know the long-term effects. But at what level or period of exposure mm -hmm. uh, causes a stress or mortality, I don't know. I just choose to avoid it. Yep. I don't know. Uh, uh, I, the one of the things that goes around a lot about the brown crud in the buckets is that it is Montmorillonite clay. Mm. I do not believe that to be true. Mm. Uh, uh, so that is one of those things where it kind of looks like mud, kind of looks like clay. 
It's probably like that. Or maybe that. Yeah, no. It's mine from uh, uh, That's one of those plausible theories that got spread around, uh, but I don't know. I don't believe it to be true. Yeah. I also don't think it's calcium carbonate precipitation uh, because uh, it doesn't turn, calcium carbonate doesn't turn into sludge. It doesn't turn brown, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, no, nah, it's not sludgy like that. Uh, but you could also test the levels and find that. This I also believe wholeheartedly. If I cleaned out my salt bin, scooped up all that brown crud from the bottom of the tank, mm -hmm. came over to your house and I poured it in, you would shoot me. <laughs> uh, uh, like, uh, so if you say, yeah, I don't care, or whatever, if I had a cup of this concentrated stuff and I just dumped it in your tank, you'd be super mad. Yeah. So I believe that to be true. I would be mad if I did Yeah, no, you did it to I me. Don't know. Uh, I also believe that if it was true, or if it was free, the salt was and free. I showed you a brown one and I showed you a clear one, you'd choose the clear one. No, it's the <laughs> Pepsi challenge. <laughs> uh, and so. I also believe that good enough is the enemy of great in progress. All right. That, yeah. Okay. I can agree. That brown gr gunk in the bottom, I can, I would, I mean, if you ask me personally, I would tell you with almost near certainty that it is impurities in the sodium chloride source. Mm. So that stuff is uh, either blown up uh, in chambers under the ground, then diluted, and then pumped up. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like a couple of different ways you can make this stuff, or it's Dried pulled out of the water. yeah, pulled yeah. out of the like the Dead Sea, then dehydrated in the air, exposed to elements. Uh, like I would say that is it. Now the pharmaceutical grade sodium chloride has now been processed and refined and purified they, and then They like, get it the same way, but they refine it yeah. and purify and refine and purify until it meets a standard. And because of the application, it can be certain that it's that way all the time because it always goes through all that, it's not just luck. Right. Right. So mm. I believe that brown gunk is the impurities in the sodium chloride source. It's possible that it's in the calcium chloride and magnesium chloride source as well. Right. Uh, hmm. But there, that's my belief. I also believe uh, that uh, uh, stratification uh, exists, but it's not as real as talked about. Yeah. At least in most cases. So we'll, I mean, in our findings, sort of did and sort of didn't show the same thing. Not as definitive as I think we would hope. I thought or for that sure. We believed. So what we did is uh, scooped salt off the top, right? Uh, mixed up some water, sent it out for ICP, and then we drilled a hole in the bottom of the bucket and allowed salt to come mm. out of the bottom. Mixed that up and then sent that out for ICP, uh, assuming that this thing had stratified out. Well, wasn't really. It, there were, no, there was differences in the top and bottom, but not just not clear cut evidence mm. of stratification. Not so. like. Like overwhelming, super high like, alkalinity here, and really. I, I wouldn't low go near. way out of my way to fix the variance. Yeah, that was there. yeah, 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 true. And it was over a bunch of different salts, so yeah. uh, nobody really performed terrible or great there. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I also believe skip the best conversation and let's focus on real life results uh, because you can get information from that and then decide for yourself, uh, like you know, an actual function. Yeah. You know, stuff that affects my life or the tank in a way that's definable, I can put my thumb on it. Uh, and so Randy did a uh, test on that. I think there's about a 12 of them. Yeah, there's like uh, at uh, probably a couple dozen uh, episodes. But, I mean, we ran the whole gambit here on testing the different salts. We had eight different salts, and then towards the end we added an ESV to make the ninth salt. Mm -hmm. uh, but ran them all through the same tests uh, and then kind of just presented the data. You do what you want. Yep. So we learn like uh, what, how long it takes to mix. You know, everybody says I like this salt because it mixes up clear. Well, clear in a dark garbage can in your basement is actually hard to identify. Yeah. So we put up the like uh, eye chart behind it in a well lit Glass environment. Glass box. Way, time lapsed yeah. it, and we found that uh, some of them it took over a day. Yeah. Most of them actually. Yeah, a lot of them did. The quickest uh, it was actually ESV. Six, yeah. Well. ESV was just a matter of like two to two hours, three hours maybe. Yeah, yeah and there's a reason for that. We'll mm -hmm. get to it in a second. But uh, Tropic Marine was like eight hours, and then after that, it got really long. Yeah, it's like yeah. in the teens, a lot in the twenty. Even after twenty four, some didn't look fully mixed and homogenized. But yeah, well, and then some actually clearly start precipitating, and turn cloud, and they never actually yep. get clear. Yeah. Uh, and so clear, it looks clear in a dark bucket in your basement. 
uh, but not in interesting a, test. When you actually look at it, I like so that. You watch that, that was you one see. of my favorite tests. Yeah. Uh, okay, so how much does it cost? Let's take the because a lot of these buckets lie to you. Yeah, straight up, 160 gallons, but that's at a salinity that yep. none of us use. Yeah, like, so you're actually getting like 130. Yeah, 27 parts per thousand. It makes 160 gallons. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, how long can you store it? So let's answer, get an answer to that question. That was a really good one too. I mean, this is about the time that we're really embracing like the auto water changes, mm -hmm. and now we want to talk about 30, 30 days plus worth of mixed up salt water already. Yeah. Okay. So how long this can you store without precipitation? This is let's important. Get an answer to that question. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them were different than others. There for was, sure. There was big differences. Uh, and uh, how long can you store it uh, heated? How long can you store it with just flow? How long can you store it with heat and flow? Yeah. Uh, let's get answers to those questions on a whole bunch of different salts because I, I don't want to just you know wing it anymore. I want a definitive answer to that yep. stuff. Uh, do they, do all, they have all have brown, brown crud? crud. Nah. Answer is no. Yeah. Some do. Some, some do. Don't. Some don't. Some do to have a little degree. Yeah. yeah. Some have a little bit. Some of them have a lot of it. You no, know, it's different. Uh, is the top the same as the bottom, being the stratification? Uh, stratification. Then yep. ESV by popular demand yep, uh, made back. it in late. And I'll just tell you straight up. At uh, the end of all that testing, ESV and Tropic Marin. Yeah, like hands down. Yeah. yeah. We're not, not saying uh, best, but they were top performers in they, all they, of those. They if performed were, the best in all of those things. Yep. So uh, actual put my thumb on it, feel it, touch it, uh, all that stuff. But ESV has a different approach on why they ended up in that category. Well, Tropic Marin, oh, ESV, oh yeah, their approach. So their approach is to give you sodium like uh, chloride, like Straight ultra low sodium chloride. heavy metal, I think we yep. call it, or something, sodium mm -hmm. chloride first. Yes. Then you mix in the magnesium into it, and then they give you all the other elements in two bottles. Liquids. So one of the things that it does is precipitation is no longer a thing. Because my magnesium's in there. Yeah, I've already uh, got the magnesium in there to poison the uh, calcium carbonate crystal. So it's already dissolved. The sodium chloride dissolves really fast. Magnesium yep. dissolves really fast. And yep. now when I add in all this other stuff, I'm not... My chances know, of precipitation. Go way down. Yeah. So like, and they're in already in liquid form, so they're already homogenous to begin with, so I don't have to wait for that either. Like in these buckets, there's no way around it. When I try to take all of it and dissolve it all at once, there's always going to be some precipitation. Mm -hmm. There's probably some of the cloud in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do it with the sodium chloride, then the magnesium, and then the two liquids uh, that are already dissolved, not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, Great uh, but... Great in approach. the end, uh, I will tell you, Tropic Marin was not prepared for what sharing that information would do. Mm -hmm. uh, globally, their sales like like toppled the company. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, you'll see shortages of it all the time because <laughs> now there's something definitive. Like I, I can make up, hey, not only is like the bucket on the front clearly says pharmaceutical grade materials, uh, but the experience actually matches that. The, the, the stuff I can touch and feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it took a go. while for um, us to get. This is like berry. that's at that parts of the data points that I was talking about. I, I would have loved it if Dr. Ron had put Tropic Marine in with the with the embryos. But, oh, but like the stuff when the data points start to uh, align, you know, like all right, so you say you're using pharmaceutical grade. I get it. I believe you. That's real. It's better. But is it how much better? Does it? I mean, like, is it going to show up in anything? Oh, well, it's not brown crud and all these other things. Oh, it mixes Start better, stores better, all that stuff. Stack in oh. reasons why. Right, well, yeah. We're converging on uh, best now, mm. uh, and it's like a lot more expensive. But if you want to know the answer to best, Cost. it's starting to materialize in front of you. Okay. I, I, I'm dying to know how many people, like, if you hate this conversation, <laughs> big thumbs down. Uh, say, I, like, this is the worst video I've ever seen. If you like this conversation, give us a thumbs up because I, I, I this is one of the more interesting things because it, it's not only got data attached to it, mm. it's got this overwhelming amount of it's emotion a, attached yeah, to it, too. Yeah, it's a huge point of contention with almost everybody. Well, I've seen it on almost everybody in the I, I'm going to predict hobby. this. Uh, I'm gonna predict this is the most thumbed down video that we <laughs> have gotten in uh, recent history. At some point in time, you may have heard the uh, a reason to defend your own salt because we we haven't mentioned it, even oh. though we're not attacking any salts here. But all right, so we'll see. Ah. Okay, interesting. All right, 2025. This is actually kind of a short list. It's just salt mix, man. 
You it just want to. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is what I'd like to see in 2025, and I think we will see. Uh, I hope, anyway. I'd like to see three options materialize, mm. right? I'd like a good, cheap option that gets the job done. Uh, and you know what? It's got brown cud, so be it. But everybody uses a oh, sediment yeah. filter and a BRS reactor or something like it, or at least a, sil uh, 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 a filter sock to remove the brown crud from the bin. Because you can. Yeah, like uh, this like, is how you kind of discover it in the first place. Is yes, it is actually. Yeah, as oh, we're Chad, one of our customer service agents. He we saw him. He was using a sediment filter uh, on his return line in in his tank, but he was also using it on his saltwater mixing bin. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we ran. That was one of the that was one of the parts of the test. Did they all have brown crud? We ran all of the salts through a sediment filter, but you could even do this at home. Just run your, before it goes into your tank or be, whatever your means of changing water from one thing to another, put an inline sediment filter in there mm -hmm. and you can just see it collect on there. Some will collect, some don't. So accept it, get the cheapest option out there, so be it. But, but filter it. But then filter the garbage out. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> uh, and so the reason that Chad had it is because we get uh, salt here that you know comes in and, and the buckets are and cracked yeah, and all open, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so we just give it away to staff and eventually like just more here than I mean, everybody knows what to do with. But, it's been exposed to some yeah. things and And who so knows? Uh, Chad is taking the stuff home he's for his uh, stuff fish. and then but he's like I don't want that in any of my systems or whatever. So he just uses a big 20 inch sediment, sediment filter, filter and you can see it's just mud on the outside of it. Yeah, that's uh, true. It's really gross. Huh. But yeah, so 2025, start we'll, using this. Let's stuff. use cheap, man. It's great. Don't worry uh, about it. But let's also up our game. Yeah. Uh, like under, it, uh, if it isn't a sediment filter, filter sock. There so you at go. least the pump that you use to mix it, have it go through at least a filter sock. Not as good as a sediment filter, but, but at least you're, better. You're, you're taking an approach. Okay. That was good. Better. Better is clearly graded material with standards. I would call that the Tropic Marin, right? Mm. It says pharmaceutical grade. It has a standard. Uh, they're clearly making a claim, and the product seems to match uh, up with the claim. Uh, that I'd like to see more of that yeah. uh, out there. Tell us what you're using, and then have the, the experience match that. Uh, so, uh, Tropic Marine's already doing maybe you don't want to do it. Uh, There's multiple time. salts that can either enter the market or yeah. start improving their product. And, and, and I got to tell you, Tropic Marine, the number one salt that we sell here, and it's the most expensive. So, like, people spend a fortune on these tanks. The extra 15 bucks uh, or 10 or 5 bucks in salt a month yeah. in material. Yeah, when you do the when you actually do the breakdown of the cost. Now the, since my video of the cost per uh, cost per gallon breakdown, some of the prices have changed on all on a lot of those salts, but you can clearly see it's like only a difference of when you when you get the when you I look at these different salts and I see uh, the initial sticker price and that sticker shock and we're like wow that is expensive bucks versus fifty yeah. yeah but then when you break it down and how long you get and how much you get for it it's actually like fifteen bucket, bucks a month if the bucket lasts four months it's not as much as it feels yeah. like yeah yeah, yeah I don't know anyway anyway sticker shock it's true uh, okay let's talk best what does the best salt, salt look like in twenty twenty five. Okay, by the way, actually, number three uh, is uh, here. Anything in between oh, one and go. two just goes to waste time. Let's get rid of it. Uh, expensive brown with a, a promise isn't a value mix. Oh, yeah. So if, if your salt actually costs a lot more than uh, the cheapest salt out there, but it's still got tons of brown crud in it. Like, just get rid of it. Uh, I don't, what, what, the, what place in the market does it have? Yeah. I don't mm. know. Uh, so fix it, actually, man. <laughs> just fix it. All right, best, clearly graded material. Part of it's a uh, 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 wet dry uh, consistency for fast mixing. So this is what I would like to see is the materials are clearly graded, which makes it the best uh, quality material that you can get. And then I'd like to see a dry material that has already the uh, magnesium and sodium chloride homogeneously mixed. Mm. Uh, comes in a single-use pouch of 10 or 20 gallons and two little liquids that I can pour in with it are already measured to the 10 or 20 gallons. Yep. I'm not getting out all my measuring cups and playing mad science yeah, trying yeah. to figure this out. I'm tearing a pouch, I'm dissolving that, and I pour my two liquids in and I'm done. 
I've got the fastest mixing stuff out there. Stratification is for sure not a real thing to me anymore. And uh, I, I, I have the best salt. That is the best. Yep. That's the best. That is the path to the best. Uh, in my mind. Especially if you hit me with the like, known amount, so pouches, that I can make a certain amount of gallons of water. And it's easy, a lot of people kind of debate that, like, well, my brute trash can says it holds 44. I don't know if it's 44. I mean, you can get by it in weight. You can find a way, like, clearly mark a line by doing some measurements and then marking a line, and now you have a known point. One or two point. ties, man, you figure it out. Yeah, you'll figure it out. But now I have a, a bag that is guaranteed. I might probably don't even have to whip this thing out uh, after a certain amount of time because I, can, I know it's going to be the same every time. So the only reason that I say this is because I, like, I kind of like the approach that ESV has, obviously. But I'm measuring out all the sodium chloride, and then I'm measuring out all this magnesium, and then I'm dumping these two liquids in, and then I find out that I didn't have too much water, not enough water, actually too much, uh, not enough water, yeah. but it's really easy, I'll add more water in. Yeah. Too much water, now I gotta I've go gotta back and do- I've gotta reopen another pouch or yeah, do something. Yeah, like the measurements, and then it, it's just, it's more effort than I want to put into it. Yeah. And if I actually did it, maybe I find it wasn't. But let's make it easier anyway. Uh, so uh, there you go. I do. I, okay. Vermont John here. I got to share his comment. He says, in 2025, the best salt, the one that doesn't kill baby sea urchins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dr. Ron, come back. Bring it around. <laughs> I, somebody, any, anybody who knows Dr. Ron, you tell him we got our support. <laughs> I want to find out about some urchins again. <laughs> Uh, all the way. I mean, uh, I mean that wholeheartedly, yeah, actually. Yeah, for real. Uh, tell them, man, that uh, I, I support people that want to further the hobby, even when, you know, it's in the face the grain, of getting, yeah. you know, chastised by yep. everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bring it on. All right. Uh, so, I'd also like to see a salt mix with the BRS numbers that we suggest, which yeah. is uh, 450 calcium, 9 DKH, and 1350, again, Three, 450 because it's about 60 points away from danger uh, on mm -hmm. either side, or 50 points mm -hmm. away from danger on each side. Uh, the 9 DKH, the same thing, about two points away from danger on either side, and the same thing with magnesium. Yep. Uh, uh, because our test kits, uh, if you watch all of our test kits uh, stuff, Investigates you'll know for again. sure this yeah. stuff is not as accurate as you would like it to be. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then eventually you're going to forget to fill your containers and they're going to run dry and have a little buffer. Yeah. So those are all the reasons why I think that that's it. There's actually much longer detail, but that's the cliff notes. Uh, a list of elements on the buckets with goal levels. Let's give some transparency, guys. Yeah. Yeah, let's put on the bucket, man. Not, not all important elements. Oh, the quotations, yeah. all the important elements in here. Yeah, well, let's say, man. Important to you. We put to who? this list of 62 elements that are in here. Mm. Uh, not all important, which is uh, what's important to you is yeah. not important to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, like, uh, let's not have this really intentionally vague. It's got uh, what corals crave. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it doesn't say I got what corals crave. <laughs> okay, uh, let's also differentiate between impurities and intentionally added. Okay, because some of them will say all oh, seventy-two uh, elements of natural seawater are in there. Yeah, but thirty-five of them just happen to be impurities of the calcium, magnesium, and mm. uh, uh, sodium. And they're not like at natural seawater levels or anything. They just happen to be present in some manner. Yeah. There's a difference. Uh, you know? If you intentionally add them to be like natural seawater. Uh, I'm okay. Now, fast forwarding to 2025. Right. Now, considering you're the best, like you want to say, I make the best salt known to man. I'm just going to say it. Every salt that wants to have that level of respect should have batch numbers and publicly shared ICP for those batch numbers. Mm, I agree. Right, why not? If you I want can to stand say behind. Bad, it's time to provide data that suggests yeah, it. I can stand behind it. Because I can check it, it against my own ICP if I want. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know. Some ICPs are fallible, but. All right. So I'm super curious on uh, the thumbs up, thumbs down thing on this one. <laughs> uh, later on, we'll guess we'll find out. Adam, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Adam, you can, you can make me cry. The if last you want. time I saw it was 55 to zero. So. Oh wow! No way. Yeah. Wow. Well. That's what a <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know if we got any questions about salt. That's kind of the journey yeah. that uh, I've been on. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like I found, for me, I mean, I use a Tropic Marin Pro at, at home. 
Uh, and uh, the reason I use the Pro, by the way, over the Classic is because the uh, uh, calcium is higher. Yeah. It's just a lot easier to add alkalinity than the inverse for me, which would be to use the Classic and then I'd have to add calcium, which would just cost me a little bit more. Yeah. I, I don't know, it doesn't make it, I'd just rather use the Pro. I think there's only two reasons. It's 72 to one. Ah. I right. think there's the there's two for me personally because like so best uh, like we we've said in a lot of our videos and, and we've made the video best salt and uh, you know we've kind of hit on some of those topics and it's the best for what what is important to you what's best for what's important to you for me it's length of storage without a whole bunch of crud and stuff building up in it and it's uh, without the crud so those mm -hmm. kind of two things so I mean if whether somebody was gonna give me salt for free or I was gonna go buy the salt, this is now something that, since we've done all this research and we can point to uh, some data on this, I can, I can justify to myself paying uh, some extra bucks because I don't have this, which is important to me. It doesn't have that and it can do this, which is important to me. Uh, that's why I choose. The mud sandwich thing really rings true for it, me. Now it really does. Because there isn't a single thing in my life where you see all of the data and you see clear differences between the ones and the others. Well, there's nothing in my life where I would say the thing that comes with mud in it is the best available. Uh-uh. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no. Other than like, I don't know, maybe I'm buying mud for my house. Or my, it's my yard. got the most then mud. The most mud, then only that one. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, there's two questions here uh, and then we'll wrap it up, I think. Uh, yeah, there wasn't, I was kind of keeping an eye on. There wasn't too much. Oh. Somebody was just asking what the logo is on my sweatshirt. That's uh, oh, Ball Tree Supply. This year's, oh. Boom. Yeah, uh, shout out to Ryan Thompson who made all our swag gear mm -hmm. this year. And this was one of the designs he came up with for the employees. So you can't get this one, but uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, it just so happens it's Black Friday. Oh yeah, so, well, yeah there's uh, a bunch of swag stuff. Yeah, there's out swag there. stuff, it's all kind of free stuff. If you go watch all the other videos that came out yesterday. Yeah. And Tropic Marine Salt just happens to be on sale and in stock. I believe. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> we have we have a bunch of it. Yeah, we got yeah. like four containers of it just for you guys. So yeah. when it's out, though, I think we'll be out for a couple months. So uh, know yeah, that. Grab it now. Uh, it kind of comes and goes that way because it has to come from overseas. Mm. So tomorrow, uh, 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 you know what? I was kind of thinking about skipping, but I'm not gonna. Oh, yeah, we're know. gonna come up with a topic. We'll come up with a new topic for tomorrow, and we'll have one for Monday as well to close it out. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. So uh, I want to point to my playlist for all the salt tests. Oh, so yes, definitely. So salt, the whole salt test playlist. You can fast forward through some if you want to, but pick and choose. Go watch them. There's a lot of good information on there. It's it, real. The data is really interesting. Absolutely. And just because I don't know, it's Black Friday, might, might as well. You can uh, go find the Tropic Marin uh, salt right here, a little hot link, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. with something new. There you go. Yeah. Done.